<sighs> well, I guess it's that time. Yeah, let's go then. Roll it. Well, here they are. These are your final four contestants that are here with us. Sorry, that was my echo notification. But let's go back to this anyway. Final four contestants are right down here below, as we see right in each between of those two. Um, especially when I was configuring what it is about. So the name of the title is The Show Must Go On. But, um... As it goes longer and longer, it seemed like that there is nothing to go up with their challenge idea with the final four contestants, so it seemed like that it was turning to be an art failure as I mentioned it before. But all that art process is just not really what I meant. So the last thing was not really consuming of what I was thinking it because it would almost be a completely uh, total knockoff from the BFB29 of Sauce. What does that mean? Well, it means save our show. Yes, um, i thinking they, they were going to try to name save our show, just like uh, BFB29 as I did react to this. But unfortunately, they don't want to make this one the same thing. So they decided to do is they wanted to change this up and then they wanted to get right into the point. Anyway, as you may already noticed there before, the volts are totally on the right side of my screen. So as you can tell that this was really the tough one that we were all calling for. Balloon had the most votes and she, the cabby is right behind it with only just like 50% chance of winning. While Nickel only had 15 and I'm thinking Silver Spoon may be the next one to be eliminated. But it seemed like nobody had won the immunity, so yeah, I guess that was a shame. But expected that it was very tough to clarify what it is now. So as you can't really tell what is going on, this is really the tough thing I was really uh, noticing for. These two are the dynamic duos on my right. Right over here, Balloon and Nickel. And then the two fan duos that we were seeing that, as I saw them before. Justin Chapman and Yarrow yeah, Girl. What is it again? Okay, let's see. Uh, no, that's Kate Brunson. And there it is. Right over there. That's the one that you're over here where the cabbie is. And that was Casey. Yep, that was the one that she played as cabbie. So, yep, that's the one. But anyway, back to this. This is what I uh, recently called it before in between of the two dynamic duos. Right between the fans versus favorites from last season that this is definitely what happens here before that they remembered it back then from season one on the right hand of a corner of nickel and balloon and then the other side on the left is cabbie and silver spoon which they got here on the start of a season of an msa invitational but this is where that i might have to find the appearance of what's going on so it's right in between of those two over here on my right side, Ben Cross and Adam Katz for sure. And the left over here, Casey and Justin, also played as a, one of the characters here. So I felt like there was no immunity winner. Well, that's pretty bad luck anyway. So nobody received the immunity cookie, so that's like a too bad for you. So whatever this happens now, I guess it's only coming down to the last elimination before the season finale of the, in the Anime Insanity Invitational, which is number 18. So I guess I have to stick around for next year to get right into this in 2024. 
Because at that point, this is where it ends off here in this year of the Final Four, and then the Final Three will be happening like on the next two months in February. That will be the next one to keep an eye on. While Jack and Jellyfy will release here for BFDI on one month ahead, um, this will be just to take a little break, and then the last thing will be in between of those guys. So, I guess it's one female versus three males of the contestants, except that Balloon talks as like on a helium voice. That considers to be a male. So yeah, I might be right. Anyway, as you may already notice before, this is what happens in each episode that happened last. So episode 10 was the rejoin of Cabby that was used to receive the immunity cookie after winning what the spelling of transformation. And then it turned it over to Silver Spoon, like, it's mine now, it's mine. But in that case, it doesn't work like that. Not at all. And then the next thing in episode 11, it was Nickel that only won once with the immunity cookie after the win of the pesty buddies of the friendly pet battle. Yeah, that was a part of the uh, pet ring that was used to be in between the matches. This is Nikki here. OMG, son of beast forgot about episode 12 of the inanimate insanity. It was Bo, now known as Bot. Which she won the immunity of home is where the heart is. And the creative picture on paper. Try to keep that in mind when you know each contestant. Viewers. And then episode number 13 was Balloon that won the immunity a friend or froze. That was the part of episode number 13. I get to remember that. Then episode 14 was back to Cabby, and 15 was the winner for Blueberry. But now, Blueberry's gone. Episode 16 deserves it to Balloon. So now, I guess that this is where it comes down to the end of the final four. Because I know one of them is going home. That's what happens most. I'll show the list again. Here it is. Balloon had most votes, and I can't really tell if she's going to stay safe, actually. Or Cabby, of course, she, and he for a balloon to stay safe. I might be thinking that this might be the prediction in between the, those three, Nickel, Balloon, and Cabby. But I'm not sure if this is going to definitely happen like in between from there. Well, here's the case. These two over here of Balloon and Nickel on my right, you can tell that these are the only ones that are on the same team. And they were definitely part of Team Sinkers. They definitely know they were doing it the right way. But I have a funny feeling that it may be a tough one if this won't be another double elimination. Just like last season, they both are out. But I don't know what will happen. If this does happen now, I don't think it will be. While the other two over here, it doesn't really matter. One from Team Pinkers and one from Team Thinkers. Yes, that's definitely what it is now. So I guess, well, not pretty sure what it is now. But let's find out what happens here. This time there won't be a no immunity winner because Yin Yang's gone, and now this is where it comes down to here. Okay, so it looks like it's the, the time is now on, so without further ado, let's go. I'm reacting this now, and find out who will be the next one to leave. I understand we may have done some irreparable damage to how seriously we take the concepts of episodes and eliminations. But, like, try to pretend we didn't as I read the votes. First vote, Captain. Nickel. One vote, Cabby. One vote, Nickel. Silver. One vote, Cabby. One vote, Nickel. One vote, Silver. One vote, Black. Alright, so I guess it might be the end for nothing because I know what happens now. So, yeah, it's down in between. So, yeah, Balloon won't count that because, you know, the last thing was happened before. 
It used to be the winner as also of episode number 16, the last thing that happened in common. So I guess this, this is going to be a scary one from the bottom three, and I can't tell what's going to happen now. So it looks like one of them will have to leave. I have a bad feeling that I'm thinking that Nickel might be the last one, so that was four chance I had. So yeah, I know it was bad enough for me because that first thing happened in the first episode. Then the second thing happened in the third episode. Then the third was episode number six. And finally, the 14th episode, which was my fourth chance. So yes, I'm out of luck. So I can't just make a decision to go with what in the world am I supposed to do? I might lose my, my, all my prize money for stuff. Because I can't just really say what is going to happen right now because I just can't say that this is going to be the end for all. So, hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to swap it up and then go with Balloon if Nickel is eliminated. Just that case for a sidetrack. Because I know a lot of people of you were saying you love Balloon so much so now I'm going to start believing him for a balloon, because now I do understand for this season. Well, last two seasons, it didn't plan out really well, so... Yeah. Forget about that. I guess this season is definitely better now. So yeah, I don't care about that, like I said before. Don't, don't give me complaints about anything, okay? In the meantime, I'm guessing my final prediction is... Maybe Merry Christmas, Nickel. I'm going to use that as a cash prize. So, yeah, I think that's my final answer. So, let's see what happens right now. Because I really wanted to know it is the same. So, well, let's find out what happens. Here we go. The last one is down to the line. 17 contestant voted out and the final member of our jury. Of course, yeah, I know. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Nickel. So I guess I know it was a bad thing, I must tell you. Because now I start believing on Balloon. It is a tough thing to say about this. And you know, this was not very easy enough to try to win a whole thing. And I'm going to say that this is really that tough to say about you. I know I was being mad at you in episode number 8 to try to stop on Clover. And also, I was going to save you from episode number 14, so now the time is over, that was my fourth chance. So yeah, I have no more left, so that was it. Now I'm swapping over to Balloon because, you know, how I have a good feeling from the best relationships in between. But I must go with the answer in the questions in the comment box uh, for the next exit interview because... It may be a tough one, but I can't just say this. Are these two best friends in between? Because I'm really not even sure what are they up to for some reason. It's very that tough what I can honestly say about this. So, yeah, I was pretty sad to say I think it's a good place to step into the Final Four. So, yeah, that's definitely my uh, prediction, I would say. So... Yeah, I guess now Silver Spoon enters in the final three. Yes, that is a better choice because now there are three of them left. One from the captain of Team Sinkers of Balloon, then the Team Pankers of Cabby, and Team Finkers of Silver Spoon. So these are the final three that will push their pursuit and ready to rally in for next year's of the season finale to finish up the whole thing. Yes, that was 1 through 17. Oh my gosh, I've been reacting to this one starting on April 2021. And now, this time, December 2023. That is like, oh my gosh. I mean, how many reactions have I done? Which was the best thing that I really enjoyed? Well, I gotta say now, Nickel, I gotta tell you one more thing. Before you get back in there, I wanna tell you everything about it. You played great, very hard, and I'm gonna tell you now... You've done the best for yourself, and that's what happens most of the time, because that is the perfect way I was doing it for you to keep you as a competitor. So with that being moment, 
I know you made it to the final four, but I guess now it's totally the end. So I bet that it was the best thing in the world that most people are concerning of you. You played great and all with your accomplishment has been turning out there nice. You behaved well and you've done everything together in between the two. Nickel, I would say that you've done the best. And I would give a Merry Christmas money to me. You sure do? Yes. I just make, wanted to make that one prediction of you. You say? Well, I wish you were that luck. I now want you to vote for my Bud Balloon. And now you're going to go with him. Because now I'm gone, everybody's going to know about me. You take care of it for yourself. Always. All right. Thanks, Nickel. And I guess that I can earn my salary more for my work. You got a job. Keep going, man. I'm begging you. And I hope you will pay respect to all competitors who are wishing the good luck in the final three. Nickel out. Thanks for thinking about me. Now go for balloon. All right, I will do. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm sorry, Clover, but it's time to go home. You had Silver and Cammy today. Everyone connects our games together. If she's willing to work with me, I think voting you out is the best shot I have at winning. So it looks like that was the one thing. Believable. I just don't really say what it is about, but I just can't really say it's like, oh dang it, this is what the worst thing happens to everybody's life who lost no risk to take one here because in season two it was a bad thing to go with double elimination. And now this season is the time to just finish it up and that's why I know it was very tough for them to try to speak them out. Most of you all are Balloon fans, so I am swapping you guys over now, so I'm on Balloon side. Hooray. Welcome to my side of the Balloon. Nah, I'm just with Balloon. I'm just kidding. So yeah, all that thing is, that one quote, because I was noticing that it was all that happened and voting you out. So that's what the quote does, so I just really felt like, what? what what's going on now? Well, this is what everyone was really saying that Nickel should be the next one now because I always know the voting poll is not the choice option. I felt bad because there was like three of them left. I can't tell what it is now because I know it is. Well, I didn't spoil it because I was fast forwarding. It's like, no, please do not. Okay, but now it is much better. So that was very tough at the ending last, so... Now it's a good choice to say goodbye to Nickel. I will always do pay respect to one of your team sinkers. It's a way to finish the line at the end of the run. And we know we forgive you. I mean, you're right, but you know, Balloon, typically when you do a blind side, you don't tell the person you're blind side. Well, I thought you didn't want me to be fake with you. You know what? I have one thing left to say to you. And this will be in earnest. What? Surely there's little sarcasm in there. No, not a drop. Wish me luck. You hate luck. Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, I'll see what you could say. Ready? Go. <clears throat> Thanks, Balloon. I'm so glad we connected. Your social game sure is strong. Well, that is so much better now. I was really thinking that friendship was going to come along right now. Especially to my bros, and I guess my gangster and my brother of DJ, and all my guys over here, and I can definitely spy it on and say, hey, you always did appreciation, you always had a lot of best of work. This is whatever you do. Accomplish your goals, and you made it to 500. But it looks like now I wanted to change this. Because I have a new channel that's coming soon. 
Well, I don't know when will it be released, guys. So, if you're all saying, what are you going to do with that channel? Well, you will see. Because that might be the only thing I want to level up my skill. And to go with my animation. Maybe on me, or anybody. After this season is over, then we can go back to the BFDI TPOT for next year as of 2024. And I expect that this was a fun one I really enjoyed. And i guessing that I just did see what the, was the next elimination going to be in between of teammates and Team Are You OK? So I did hear that. But I'll have to... Like, watch it again. Hold on a minute right now. When I do this, I'll get back into it right now. All right, here they are. So, this is what the votes looks like over here. So, this is what it looks like uh, that I had wrote everything down, what um, Catherine just said. So, this is the most vote that they, they have received for Are You OK sign. So, Penn got 23. Uh, 18 people had chose Puffball to be the next one to be safe. Especially with Stone Yoshi, he might be pretty happy with uh, Puffball. Then 16 votes of the people chose Golf Ball. And then 11 people chose the tie right in between the range of Tennis Ball and Eraser. That's pretty kind of a close call. But I'm guessing the next one out is going to be TV. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that TV is going to be the last one. But unfortunately, there are no announcements for Team 8s on the other side, so we don't have anything um, information going on. So that being said, um, this is the only one I have. So thank you so much. Appreciate That's a bestie hug forever, friendship. Always to you, Nickel. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. You don't have to do it anyway. At least if you want to make the wishes, you just always got to go with your luck. You got Clover's on. What? Oh. Okay, then. I guess I wish you, your friend, a oh, good luck. Yeah, so, thanks, Nickel. And I guess I think you're going to tell everybody that we made that friendship up, and now it's a good day to be for... The rest of the episode of number 18, and that might be the last one to take. Oh. Ha ha ha, I guess now it's like a ha ra moment. I just don't really think I just never did it anyway. So now it's the final three, which you guys will stay tuned for. The last one of episodes of the Inanimate Sandy Invitational. Because there's one more left. And I just really do not believe it that everybody has been concerning of. Is there going to be a final two? I don't think so. Because when it's final uh, three, that means this will be the season finale. One, two, three. You know, like it's season three. One, two, three, go intro. But I guess now it's definitely the end of it. Only one of these three can win the competition. But who? That's a great question. Wish there was a way to learn the answer. Oh, I got it. Find out for the last time on the grand finale of Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Well, that's definitely it now. I guess saying now. I think the show is over. So yeah, the last time. So I'm sad right now. Because that's where it's going to end up for the last three, and then the season will conclude. So that's all you've got now, me phone. Thanks for everything what you do. I'm really sorry of what I did, but I won't make this one too hard on you. So with that, you've done great, MC. You're the best. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Is it Springy coming back? Oh, good! This is in time! We have one more chance. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> oh my gosh! I think somebody just left it out from season 
And a couple episodes out, I just felt like there was a, somebody in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to have to end it here. So it looks like, don't tell me that Springy just survived it right now. I could feel like she was bitten by Flora and definitely was understanding like, oh my god. This was the memory of thing I went to back in July. I knew it. So I couldn't guess. You're going to regret that! I'll just spring right back up to the top! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Huh? No, 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 no! You know how they say there's no ethical consumption under capitalism? I think I might be the exception. Mm. Kinda needs milk. Take from the fridge. You've earned it. So that is it, guys. And for the season of the NBA and NHL, it's coming in. We're about to kick things off. And in the meantime, I'm going to close it right now. We'll see you for the last reaction video of the Anime Insanity Invitational. And I guess it's going to be the last time forever of the Anime Insanity Invitational. Yeah, because everything is about to close. So I know it's turning out that great. I enjoyed this season so much. And here we can close now with the caption. It does happen like this every time. So here you go. Thanks for watching and peace out folks for a while as the Inanime Insanity Invitational Reaction of the Elimination Dial. See you all next year of the season finale of Triple I. Son of Beast out. <sighs> Man. I couldn't just tell that this was a difficult run to make my decision. So that was totally me. I voted Nickel to be out. Oh, why would you do it? Well, it's because I just had four chance. That was it. And the last one won't count because I'm out of luck with these too many times right away. And this is definitely it because now I'm with Balloon. Why would you go with Balloon anyway? I thought you trust Nickel for good. I thought you want Adam Katz to win. Well, that was my option. But unfortunately, I missed Ben Cross. He wasn't here with us with the BFDI and MA Sandy experience. So I really missed of what happened. So I now only got Justin and Casey, which I saw them last couple months. So that was all I definitely did on the summer time before everything changed in the season. Well, I guess that's all you have to make out for yourself. Pretty not that bad, isn't it? Yeah, I guess that it was turning out to be like, wow, I can't believe it. Because this was the only episode left before season finale. And speaking of which, the next one will be the final episode in 2024. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess that this is definitely it. I'm sad of what everything happened. Yeah, me too. So, hey, I'm going to go outside for a little bit, and I will be back, uh, come back with you, just for a little bit of a lounge here on the bed, and I guess we can close that off just for good. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'll be right back, okay? All right, be careful out there. <sighs> I knew this was ever happened. So... What's the world gonna know for you? What? Wait a second. Is it not me? What did I have last time? Wait, that can't be. It looks like you definitely have some word to talk to me about. Remember the last time that you had me on a date? And you definitely texted me, don't you? Wait a second. Did I actually do this? Or is it just me thinking of it? 
Well, I just have you now. No! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.